This program shows the basic operation of the Stryker Evacuation Chair, an important component of your facility's emergency response plan. The Stryker Evacuation Chair is essential for the safe evacuation of non-ambulatory people who must be evacuated from single-story or multi-story buildings. Location of this equipment is a key part of your evacuation plan as you map out the safest exits, paths, and stairwells. Refer to your evacuation chair operations maintenance manual for details about chair setup, safety precautions, installation of restraints, chair operation, and use of accessories. The strong yet lightweight chair folds for compact storage. It has extendable handles at the head and foot ends and is equipped with the patented stair tread track system that allows you to control passenger transport downstairs without lifting. It reduces the rate of descent in proportion to the passenger's weight. The evacuation chair can support people weighing up to 500 pounds with two operators. A single operator may be able to transport a 200-pound person down flights of stairs, although with heavy patients, more operators are recommended. Remove the evacuation chair from its storage position. It can be stored in the evacuation chair cabinet or mounted on a wall bracket in its optional protective cover. Stand behind the chair and apply the wheel locks. Unfold the chair by firmly pulling the leg frame from its locking clip. Be sure the seat lock is fully engaged by pulling up on the seat. The chair will not fold if locked. Warning, an unlocked chair can fold during use, causing injury to the passenger or operator. Extend the upper control handle by pulling the red release cable while with the other hand, you extend the handle to its highest position. Be sure it's locked. If transferring from a bed to the evacuation chair, make sure the bed and chair casters are locked. Place the chair so that it faces the bedside. Open the restraint straps. With the passenger's permission, transfer the passenger to the chair using generally accepted ergonomic transferring procedures. Always team lift if possible. Place the patient sideways on the chair so that both caregivers have room for the transfer. While supporting the patient, disengage wheel locks, pull the chair away from the bed and turn the patient on the chair seat. Fasten ankle straps and chest straps before moving your passenger. And evacuate. To roll the evacuation chair on flat surfaces, push and guide the chair from the rear of the passenger using the head end lift handles or backrest tubes. When transferring a passenger from a wheelchair, Lock the wheels on both the wheelchair and the evacuation chair. Move the foot supports out of the way. Always team lift if another person is available. For passengers with compromised head control, use the head support that attaches to the vertical handles. Wrap the straps around the passenger's head and overlap the straps to the desired tightness to secure. Securely fasten the chest, lap, and ankle straps before moving your passenger. Release the wheel locks and roll the chair to the top of the first flight of stairs. Approach the stairs squarely, not at an angle. Engage the stair tread by squeezing the red track release bar against the cross tube. Relax your grip on the release bar and pull the stair tread to the fully extended position, making sure both sides lock by trying to fold it up again. Warning, always verify the stair tread is locked in place before transporting a passenger downstairs. If a foot end operator is available, extend the foot end lift handles by pushing the red release buttons and pulling the handles until they stop. Release the buttons and verify the handles are locked. Before transporting downstairs, do a quick visual check for water, ice, or debris. To avoid injury, clear the path before you transport. Now tip the chair back just far enough to allow the stair tread to make contact with the floor. Maintain the angle. Guide the evacuation chair over the edge of the stairs, allowing the stair tread to engage the first step. Glide down the stairs until the treads are level across the edges of two or three steps. When the track reaches the last step, 
the foot end operator releases the front handles and the head end operator tips the chair forward until all four wheels are on the ground, ready to roll. You can rest at any place on a staircase by slightly tipping the chair forward so that the back wheels rest in the crook of the stair. Just balance the chair and rest. When you're ready to go, tip the chair back slightly to continue. When going up a flight of stairs, two people are required to operate the evacuation chair. Extend the foot end handles. Both people must face forward. To store the chair after use, apply the wheel locks, buckle the restraint straps, secure the head support strap behind the frame. Stand beside the chair and pull up on the red lock bar at the rear of the chair as you tip the chair forward. Fold the seat up to the backrest until the front legs lock in the clips on the bottom of the seat tube. If returning the chair to a cabinet, pivot the wheels so that the door will close. If returning the chair to its cover, slip the bottom cover pocket over the wheels. For more information and details about the Stryker Evacuation Chair and its accessories, contact your Stryker account manager.